I mean, what are we, a team? No, 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 we're a chemical mixture that makes chaos. We're... we're a time bomb. You need to step away. Why shouldn't the guy let off a little steam? You know damn well why. Back off. Oh, I'm starting to want you to make me. Yeah. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. <laughs> Are we here? Are we here? Are we here? Yeah, we're here. Picture like a sick hip hop beat behind what I just said. <laughs> we are here. It's the first team up of any superhero film I can even think of. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering, but this was it. This is the first big build up. The first team up of Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye. The Hulk was back. It was just so much hype around this film. Like, you could, you don't even believe the hype of the Avengers. It was crazy. There's nothing like this that any of us had ever seen before. It was so new. It was so special. Maybe that's why it crushed it at the box office. Let's start off with the budget, actually. So the budget of the Avengers was $225 million. Think of it this way. The Marvels came out this year. Well, I guess last year, and it had a budget of $250 million. This was a superhero team-up filled with all these stars, and it was only $225 million. Even if the film came out 11 years ago, that's still a big, big difference. Now, the question you have to ask is why? I want to say that all these actors that we know as superstars now, they weren't as famous as they were back then which means that it didn't cost as much to get them to be in a film, right? I think Robert Downey Jr. was clearing like 30, 40 million as Iron Man towards the end. Crazy shit. Regardless though, I'm sure it was like a pretty decent sized budget at the time. Let's go to the B word. Do you think the Avengers crossed a billion dollars? I'm going to give you a second. Let's start off with that. Do you believe that the Avengers crossed 1 billion dollars? US dollars. Yes, they did. The Avengers made $1.5 billion on a budget of $225 million. Marvel cleaned up. I don't believe they were owned by Disney at the time. Were they? Oh, no, they were owned by Disney at the time. Yeah, it says distributed by Disney Motion Pictures as the Wikipedia opened. Huh. I thought they, Disney came in after. Let me Google it. When did Disney buy Marvel? Oh, in 2009, Disney bought Marvel for $4 billion? That's a good investment. They've already made it in like the Avengers films alone. <laughs> Some stray thoughts I had for this film were like, you had Natasha and Banner kind of first starting to get to know each other. And I thought that was really cool to see because they had a really close relationship and they they were tight, you know? And then they freaking ruined it. There's so many things they did wrong with the Hulk. Oh, each movie I see with the Hulk, I'm getting more and more mad at how the MCU has nerfed him. He's the Hulk. He's supposed to be menacing. He's supposed to be scary and powerful. Why is he just doing yoga retreats with She-Hulk on the beach? Like, what the? F oh, it's so stupid. Try not to swear so I can have a broader audience, but I want to. That was emotional. Coulson dying was emotional, even though he came back for several years as Agent Coulson in Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I just don't know. Is Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. canon? There's so much discourse online about whether Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is canon. And I'm not talking about canon in the multiverse, because technically everything's canon. Even the Justice League weeding cut is canon to the MCU, if you think about it. I'm talking about... In the main MCU, Earth 616, is Coulson, his adventures in S.H.I.E.L.D.'s canon. I believe from what I've read, it's not. But if you know otherwise, please let me know. I'd love to find out. But don't just tell me. Provide evidence. Bruh. Cap and Tony didn't get along the whole movie. But at the same time, you could tell they were like instant best buds. And Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., they had just incredible chemistry. Really, the whole Avengers cast had amazing chemistry when you think about it for those of you who have seen avengers do you recognize this scene i'll tell you it right now that man is playing galaga he thought we would have noticed but we did that's tony stark making his appearance on the helicarrier 
And then as soon as they walk away, the guy goes back to playing Galaga. There's some good jokes in this one. Oh, the Coulson death, though. So sad. <laughs> Let's talk in the positive, the happier things. I knew he was going to die, too. So I was paying attention to how he connected with all these characters in their movies leading up to the Avengers. That's why the Avengers... Oh, I'll get to that later, why the Avengers was so well done. The Hulk. Yeah, back to the Hulk, though. Bro was so op and now he's just like a yoga instructor i i like she hawk it's funny but between that and endgame i just don't like what they did with the hulk it's not good we didn't have enough time like you can do professor hulk after he's had like his three movies and he was in the avengers we haven't had really one movie with mark ruffalo as the hulk literally not one movie he's just been a side character in the avengers films he was awesome in Ragnarok, though. That was so funny. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. And then he just goes in and goes, pow, pow, pow. smash, 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 smash. I have a Hulk smash shirt, so yeah, I love the Hulk. My throat's getting dry because I'm <laughs> talking so much. I just wish there was a way they could turn him back into this rage monster. But it feels like when they do that, it won't really make sense. But I just think that they need to do it. Just like, bite the bullet, even if it doesn't really make sense. Turn him back into the rage monster and let's get the Hulk again. Who knows, maybe Mark Ruffalo doesn't want to be the Hulk anymore and they kind of make the Hulk take over and he becomes this big monster. Or maybe someone else can just be the Hulk. Maybe Bruce Banner loses his blood and he somehow, or someone steals it from him. I'm just thinking about the Battle of New York and how Black Widow and Hawkeye were just there fighting amongst gods and aliens and they were holding their own. That's really dope shit by the two of them their whole careers they've just been fighting amongst gods and aliens it's like nothing we've ever trained before as black widow said in the film so they deserve some props they stood their ground they were massively outgunned they have no suit of armor or anything like that but they did a great job colby smolders was also an excellent spy to work alongside um uh, what's his name uh, what's his name nick fury obviously they should never have killed her in the nick fury show but whatever Hopefully she's not dead somehow. And then you have that scene at the end where the Hulk shows up at the top of Avengers Tower. And then you have like Loki being being like a pretentious douchebag. "Uh, Enough, I'm a god. You're going to bow to me. And then the Hulk grabs him and goes smack, bam, 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 and smashes him back and forth. He's just like, huh, puny god. And then when when, uh, Loki's like just in the ground, he's just like, that's when he eventually wakes up and he sees all the Avengers staring at him, Hawkeye with the bow and everyone behind him. And he... And then Tom Hiddleston, excellent, as Loki just says, if it's all the same, I think I'll have that drink now. Awesome shit. Then you have that shot of Avengers Tower right at the end, which I love. It's such a great movie. Do I even need to explain or even say where it's going to rank right now? It's obviously number one. The Avengers cruises to the number one spot. Avengers number one, Captain America number two, Iron Man number three, the Hulk number four, Thor number five, and they have Iron Man two at number six. That's where we're at in our MCU rewatch. 